Hello, I'm J.P. Sears, and I'm a sexual being. If you happen to be a human, I suspect that you too are a sexual being, whether you love it or don't like it. And that's what I'd like to talk with you today about, some food for thought on how you can have healthy sexuality. For me, having healthy sexuality actually means you having balanced health physically, emotionally, mentally, and even spiritually, as our sexual energy is a powerful force that infiltrates all those levels of our being. What is sexual energy? For me, sexual energy isn't just the compulsion that makes us want to have sex with other people. Sexuality also has a lot to do with our passion and our compassion. And I would even dare say that our sexual energy is, it's a flow, it's the flow of the river of life that comes directly from your soul and my soul. So why would we want to consider mindfully balancing the health of our sexuality amongst other considerations for me would be so that we can bless ourselves with the passion for our life, having purposeful excitement in our life, as well as bless ourselves with the energy of compassion, which is all about connection with ourself and connection with other people. What strangulates our sexual energy? My experience is uh, a lot of our strangulation happens through shame. The pinnacle expression of shame about sexuality, from my point of view, has to do with when we consider that our self-worth is based on our sexual appeal. So that might be where I try and validate my self-worth by being very appealing to the opposite sex, rather than that just being one nuance of my life. If I, in one nuance of my self-worth, if I try and build the whole self-worth puzzle of J.P. Sears off of how sexually appealing am I to the opposite sex, that tells me that unconsciously I am living in a swamp of shame of my sexuality. Hi there. I was <clears throat> watching you watch me when I was over there doing some push-ups. Mind if I sit here? I couldn't find anywhere else to sit. It's a, it's a tight blue shirt I have on. I, I like them tight. That way people can see my muscles pretty good. Um, I don't mean to brag, but they're right here. That's um, what I want you to notice about me. It's getting a little chilly. Oh. I'd like you to value me based on my sexual appeal which I think is relatively high. And keep in mind the other polarity. If I make my whole self-worth uh, based around how much I can hide my sexual appeal from other people, instead of trying to get other people to desire me sexually, it might mean, ah, my shame motivates me to try and be sexually unappealing to other people. Either route, the obsession with sexual appeal or the obsession with repelling uh, people sexually would be evidence of drowning in a swamp of shame somewhere in myself about my sexuality. What do we do to help balance our sexuality so that we can live as a more happy, whole, content human being? Well, we want to be on the lookout for unhealthy symptoms of sexual strangulation. One of the biggest symptoms, in addition to some aspects I've already mentioned, would be when we use our sexual energy for control. It might be us trying to control other people. It might be us literally having sex as a way of controlling them. It might be us having sex or expressing our sexuality to try and get them to validate us. Uh, our attempt to control using the energy of our sexuality can come out through seduction rather than intimacy. If we flip that coin over, it would tell us that a more healthy, balanced expression of our sexuality would be using sex not for control, but to surrender control, which means we open up a, an expression of connection 
and intimacy with other people? Am I using the power of my sexual energy to, in, to invite a connection with you or to control you so that a true meaningful connection doesn't happen? And as we consider that, I would invite you to realize that just because you are or are not having sex with other people it gives no indication of how balanced your sexual energy is. What we'd want to ask you is, why? Why are you expressing your sexual energy in this way at this time? Uh, is it for connection or is it for control? The internally generated energy that fuels your sexual expression for me is really worth paying attention to. I'd also invite you to really consciously explore what shame-based programming you've experienced about your sexuality in your life. Uh, consciously exploring it helps make the unconscious shame-based programming less controlling, less constricting over your life. As you consider this food for thought about having healthy sexuality, I hope that it can help you say yes to the river of life that perhaps flows from a very deep, intimate, meaningful part of you into your waking reality. I also hope that it can help you invite the excitement of purposeful passion in your life as well as invite the curiosity of compassionate connection in your life. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Feel free to like this video and share it with your friends.